Well, hey everyone, it's Daryl, the Butterfly Guy. And today I just wanted to take the time to first and foremost thank you for buying one of our exploding butterfly boxes. They're cool, they're colorful, they're creative, and with five different colors of boxes with 50 different designs of butterflies, you literally have 250 or more options to cover any occasion, whether it's birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, get well soon, baby showers, you name it, we got it. But uh, I wanted to take this opportunity today to give you some quick tips and tools on how to make the most of this really first class, high quality gift box and some tools on how best to wind the butterflies up and in some, insert them in the box so that they fly perfectly and you get the best element of surprise. So I'm not going to get into the details on how best to decorate your box because I'm no Martha Stewart, but I am going to, you know, just give you a few quick tips and tools on things that will make it easier when it comes to decorating your box. So one thing you might want to do is put pictures like you see here in this video. Um, so, you know, print out pictures, cut them to the dimensions of the interior flaps of the uh, box, get a glue stick and just glue them in there. You might want to add text and bling or print out or even write different things. So what you're going to want to do once you're done decorating the box is, of course, insert the butterflies. And here's your first quick tip. Use a rubber band around the perimeter of the box. That will keep the flaps from unfolding when you take off the top. And then take off the top and begin to wind the butterflies one by one and insert them in between the panels as you'll see in this video. Now, if you haven't watched our other tutorial video on how best to hold and wind the butterflies, please take two minutes to watch that video. It makes all the difference in the world when you wind them just the way we show you in the video. You hold at the bottom, wind 30 to 35 times, until you get a whole row of double knots. And then once you uh, have got it tight enough, keep in mind the rubber band's the engine that drives these things. Once you have it tight enough, they'll fly perfectly. So please watch that video if you haven't. But as you can see from this video, once you've decorated your box, put the rubber band around the perimeter, wind the butterflies, stick them inside the panels, and then put the lid back on. And once the lid's on, remove the rubber band and you're ready to go. Now the next quick tip I want to give you is why we include a really nice high quality red or white ribbon with each and every box. Um, one, I think it's a nice touch to the box, but it also has a practical purpose. And the reason we give you the ribbon to tie around the box and make it into a nice bow is because a lot of times if you're not giving the box to someone personally, but you're shipping it, when someone receives the box, what they're going to want to do is grab the gold knob on the top of the gift box in order to remove it from the box you shipped it in. And if they do that, the butter, you know, the panels are going to fall down and the butterflies are going to fly out prematurely. So what we suggest and why we include the ribbon is to tie the ribbon around the box. It's a nice touch. It uh, looks pretty, but it also, once again, serves the practical purpose of them not being able to remove the top from the box until they untie the ribbon. Therefore, if you've shipped it to someone in another container or a box or, or something, when they go to pull it out of whatever you shipped it in, the lid won't come off when, if, when or if they grab that gold top. So that's a nice quick tip for you. Use it or lose it. You don't absolutely need the, the ribbon, but it is su suggested and recommended. Finally, last but certainly not least of the quick tips I want to give you today has to do with the innermost box within the gift box. You see, uh, uh, occasionally, if you put too many things in the center box, when the top is removed and the panels fall down, if there's too many things in the inner box, it puts pressure on those panels and the panels will sandwich the butterfly and the butterfly won't be able to fly out. And that's why, once again, you don't have to do this, but if possible, and if it's okay with you, if you like the idea, you know, use it. 
but you may, like you see in this video, add a little tape to the corners of the four panels of the most interior box. That way the box, the inner box will stay connected and those panels won't fall down when the lid is removed. And that way the butterflies are sure to fly out when the top is removed and they won't get, you know, pressured up against or in between the panels uh, that you've inserted them in. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to do it, but if you want to secure the trinkets or candy or whatever you're putting in the center box, monies, I've seen people wad up, you know, bills, you know, ones, fives, tens, whatever, and stick that in the middle of the box. If you're doing something light like that, you probably don't need to tape the inner box. But if it's something heavier like candy or coins or, you know, toys that are heavy, that's going to press on those panels when they fall down and potentially uh, impede the flight of the butterflies, you may just want to use a little small cellophane, you know, scotch tape, some clear tape that no one will even see and secure whatever you're putting in that middle box and securing the panels as well. So just another word to the wise. Now, thanks again for buying the box. Keep in mind, wind it tight. The butterflies fly right. Okay. Use a rubber band around the perimeter of the box to hold the panel shut while you wind the butterflies and stick them in there. And you know, one last thing to keep in mind is you can use the butterflies over and over again. So before, you know, after you've decorated it, you've inserted the butterflies, you've got the lid on the top, turn them loose a couple times, you know, practice, make sure you've got the butterflies flying out the way you want them to before you wrap it up and ship it off or give it to somebody for whatever occasion or whatever purpose you purchased the box for in the first place. So thanks again for your purchase. I hope these quick tips helped you. We really appreciate your business and are so excited about what you're going to do with this uh, amazing, awesome, exploding butterfly box. Send us a video, send us some pictures, but be sure to at least complete the review that we send you a few weeks after you made your purchase. Thanks again for everything. This is Daryl, the butterfly guy saying onward and upward.